feel like it's it started poking out so soon but then it's been growing quite steadily so yeah it's been it's been growing quite steadily hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video just like you saw in the title of the video your girl is literally pregnant <laughs> oh my god like yes we are pregnant with baby number three and some of you guys actually guessed this right because I did actually get someone leaving me a comment in my community asking whether I was with child I was like <laughs> how do you know like honestly from just a simple picture and i think for some of you guys you also noticed that my neck has got a lot darker isn't it this is normally what you get in pregnancy and obviously yes i have gained weight as well so yeah your girl's pregnant literally <laughs> we're pregnant i was so so happy we feel so blessed that we will be welcoming a new addition to our family so this is our baby number three um yeah i'm just going to tell you guys basically how it happened it's literally like so weird that the, the way that it happened normally I would know I sort of with my two other pregnancies I knew exactly when I was pregnant um, how it happened basically I could even tell you like where those babies were conceived like literally and how it happened the day the hour I could tell literally but with this pregnancy it was so different because yeah i don't know it was just so weird there's something that threw, threw everything out literally and it just made it very difficult to know exactly when it happened and i'll get into that um in a little bit now if you're new here consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family and vanessa i normally make lots of natural hair videos um for hair growth maintenance and all of that good stuff um so if you're seeing me for the first time and you like my vibe you like my content definitely go ahead and click the subscribe button so let's head into basically how we found out i was pregnant so basically what happened is that um obviously like my husband and i talked about having another baby and we were ready um but then the thing is i was on the mini pill i had been on the mini pill since having my daughter um i'm so out of breath bear with me guys <laughs> oh let me gosh my breath okay yeah i was saying that i um yeah, I've been on a mini pill. I, wa I was on a mini pill, and the time that I started the mini pill was when I had my daughter, because obviously that's like the safest form of contraception when you're breastfeeding, because it doesn't get passed on to the milk, something like that. Um, so even when I stopped breastfeeding her, I was still on a mini pill because I just, I don't know, I, I just loved it. With the mini pill, I wasn't experiencing any period at all. Um, so yeah nothing and I just loved it so I just carried on taking it and they kept giving me as well so yeah I just got on taking the mini pill and then obviously sometimes I would come off the mini pill just because of the fact that um, I don't know I felt like it was stopping my weight loss like it was slowing down not stopping it was slowing down my weight loss um, obviously this is just a myth like I didn't do anything to uh, proof that it was actually doing that but I thought I was putting in so much effort into losing weight when I had my daughter and it just wasn't happening quickly enough just like it did with my first child so I thought maybe it's because I was taking the mini pill so so every now and again I would come off the mini pill um, just to give my body a bit of a break and also just to see whether or not I would notice any um, changes in my weight loss so and obviously when you come with the mini pill you have to use another type of contraception at that time because you could get pregnant but anyways so um yeah we talked about that and then i came off the mini pill to be honest i thought not nothing of it okay because i was like okay i've come off the mini pill nothing's gonna happen because either way i still have a little bit of that in my system because that's what they normally say anyways that when you Take, take the pill um it can take a while for it to like completely come with your system so for some women they conceive like immediately and then for others it can take a while before you actually conceive but anyways i'm completely new to this whole thing okay guys i'm just gonna be completely honest i've never really been on any kind of conception until i got married and then started having children essentially so 
yeah I got married and then got pregnant straight away like literally so I'm still quite new in this world of contraception um so but anyways so I came off the pill so and then I had a period after that but again I didn't know that that was probably just someone you call a withdrawal bleed which is the bleed that you get after you come off you've just come off the pill um so I thought that was my period um so and then surprisingly the month after um I didn't get a period I remember around that time my mood was also like a bit off well that's what my husband was saying that he felt like I was a bit snappy I was you know I don't know I had mood swings yeah um obviously I'm, I'm, I didn't think I had mood swings but he thought I had mood swings so obviously when I told him I didn't get a, I didn't have a period and he was like I think you're pregnant take a pregnancy test because your mood swings are there, you, you missed the period. Um, at this point, guys, bear in mind, I had just come off the, the, the pill, so I literally had my withdrawal bleed. I don't know if it was a withdrawal bleed or if it was, you know, uh, just a regular period, but I think it was a withdrawal bleed. So I needed to actually get a period to start like seeing, what, seeing whether my cycle was regular and then we could try properly. Um, but anyway, so, that month he was like just 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 take the test i was like i can't be pregnant like you know i just can't be pregnant um because i don't know i just feel like as women like i said before with my two other kids i kind of knew i was pregnant like it was much earlier on i knew it um but this one i was like hmm i don't think i'm pregnant he was like just do it anyways so i went ahead and i got pregnancy test I thought I think I got like three of them and I tested like three times on different days different like hours and stuff and I kept getting a negative result yeah so I said to him look I'm not pregnant <laughs> like I don't know why, why why you think that I'm pregnant because of my mood swings obviously as women we get a bit annoyed sometimes when these men misbehave in it so I think that's possibly just what was going on but but obviously he thought that you know it's because I was pregnant but anyway so that passed I still didn't get a period that month but I wasn't pregnant basically like my pregnancy test kept showing negative so the following month then happened and again I didn't get a period again and I started typing things online I was like um, how long does it normally take for your period to return back to normal after you come off the mini pill lots of things were coming up and essentially from what people were saying is that you um, have a withdrawal bleed and then your your period should return properly like it can take a while for some women for their period to return properly so all this time I, I was thinking there's no way I'm, I'm pregnant maybe I still have the pill in me and that's why I'm missing these periods you know um, so but anyways the month after again no period nothing but then i noticed that i started to get a bit of weight okay so some of the dresses that i used to wear started feeling a bit tighter i was like i don't know why it just feels tighter maybe i'm just eating too much i don't know but i was still pretty active then i was still going to the gym trying my best to eat as healthy as i could but the weight wasn't really like dropping i felt like i was gaining weight so it was around that time that I had a sister in church actually who was like oh I've got lots of dresses that I don't fit in anymore and some of them I haven't even worn I bought and they just don't fit and they are size a size 14 now bear in mind guys I was wearing size 10 to 11 to 12 so she was like it's a size 14 um, I'm thinking of giving them to charity but I thought about you like maybe you can you can have them I was like okay that's fine bring them obviously they're big I can always keep them and then when we eventually get pregnant because I knew that we will get pregnant well by God's grace we will get pregnant because we were trying um, then maybe I'll fit into those clothes and wear them as maternity wear but anyway so she, she gave me those clothes and I was so surprised like when I tried them on they fitted like literally they fit and there wasn't there was even one dress that just didn't fit at all and that was a size 14 i was like oh my god i actually have gained weight because if size 14 don't fit me it just means <laughs> it just means that your girl has definitely put on weight um but obviously i didn't know where the weight was coming from because i was trying my best to not eat too much i was still working out and and, and all of that so anyways we went to a baby shower and I remember at the baby shower 
um, that was a friend's baby shower and there was another friend of ours there that was also pregnant and she, and she was like when are you guys having baby number three you know when you have those just candid talks about children and stuff and then I said I said I remember saying to her well pretty soon you know we are trying um but I don't know <laughs> literally and then she was like you know what just just go home and take a test because your tummy looks like you're pregnant I was like Thank you very much for saying that, for saying that I have a big tummy, right? But anyways, you know, no offense was taken or anything. She was like, just get home and, and take a test, you know. So I said to my husband, okay, when we get home, let's go ahead and take a test, you know, because I don't know, people around us think that I may be pregnant because I had a bit of a glow as well. So, but then I, I, I don't know. But anyway, so we got home, bought a pregnancy test. I remember my husband and I was sitting in the bathroom, the kids were asleep because it was already late at night. Um, so I wish I actually recorded this moment, literally, I wish I did, but you know when you're just like in your private moment with your partner or your husband, the last thing you think about is like to pick up a camera and my husband is not even that type, you know, where you're just going to be like picking up a camera and putting it on his face just like that randomly. But anyway, so we sat in the bathroom and... I took the test literally so he was literally like sitting there and I was sitting on the other side I was like okay let's just let, let's just do it what have we got to lose I don't think I'm pregnant I was still saying to myself I don't think I'm, I'm pregnant I think the pure is still working in me you know um maybe it will take like three to four months or so before I can eventually conceive because that's about how long it takes like for the pill to completely come off the system so you can con uh, conceive so um yeah we took the test then and to the shock of our lives like literally we were pregnant we saw two lines and that did not even take time to show like the moment that thing just traveled and traveled and traveled literally the second line started appearing it was so vivid not even like that faintish kind of looking line um that you may expect so at this point i was like okay literally we were both happy but at the same time my husband was happy he was like i can't i knew you were pregnant i knew i was like how because i did take the test and when you know i had missed the period well thinking going by the date that i had my my withdrawal bleed i was thinking okay this is when i should be expecting a period but it didn't happen i took the test then it was negative um so i, I don't know i said to him like i don't know so he wasn't surprised about the pregnancy but I was because I was like I don't know it's so weird like so random so weird um but anyways then now we had to figure out how many weeks pregnant I was so um um it was a bit difficult to figure it out because essentially you know when you go to see the midwife they always tell you like when was the day of your last period da 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 da, da. what was your cycle like but the thing is I've always had a very regular cycle 28 days um but obviously since being on the mini pill i was getting nothing um and then when i was coming off the mini pill it was very random you know and i wouldn't come off the mini pill for a long time it was usually be like it would usually be like two or three months or so like nothing drastic so to be honest i don't even know what my period or what my cycle was like um since having my daughter she's now two so it's been really like up and down and these questions were so difficult to answer so this is her this is when i came off the pill and this is when I, I, I had that bleed and then i didn't have a bleed again after that so she calculated obviously calculate your due date or your the number of weeks from the the, the day that you for, like from the day that you last had your period so from that time to when i saw her i was eight weeks gone okay and bear in mind at this point i wasn't having like any symptoms or anything in my mind i was thinking okay calculating from my missed period till now i may be about maybe like four weeks or three weeks pregnant um so i was like okay so it's still quite early anyways and i wasn't really expecting any kind of morning sickness or anything but to the shock of my life <laughs> a week later which would have made it four weeks i was literally like so sick so sick i couldn't believe it and then i remember telling my husband like maybe we we're having dreams because this morning sickness came on a lot quicker than uh, than it normally did like it came on quicker um 
than my previous pregnancies because I know with the other two I started getting morning sickness around six to seven weeks so this was like four weeks I was already feeling so sick um so but anyways that's what we're thinking that maybe we're having twins and then um obviously when you go to a midwife they also work out your due date or the number of weeks based on your, the day of your last period and I just gave her the date that I <laughs> I bled literally um after I came off the pill and then we went from that essentially so um yeah so it just happened that it wasn't twins okay guys <laughs> it's not it's not twins i'm carrying it's definitely one baby um and yeah and also another thing that sort of exciting was exciting was our dating scan because that actually gave us like a completely different um due date like it actually appeared on that scan that i was almost two weeks ahead of my pregnancy so i guess it kind of makes sense if you ask me at what point I got pregnant I'm not gonna know <laughs> literally I'm not gonna know it's just it's just weird I think being on the pill literally just I don't know it just switched things around a lot when I was with my two other children I could literally tell you when it happened like where we conceived them how it happened all of that I can give you all of those details because my period was literally like you know very very regular and yet yeah, it was it was planned so I kind of knew around when I conceived, do you get what I mean? And I was pretty accurate even before going for the dating scan. Whereas this one, I have no idea. I don't know at what point it happened, whether it happened like soon after we got pregnant, um, I came off the pill or was, I, I don't know, literally. Um, so yeah, that's basically how we found out I was pregnant and literally we are super, super blessed. We feel so blessed to, um, you know to be welcoming a new addition to the family and yeah it's literally like a really exciting moment just like i said guys but at the same time it's really scary because you're like you don't know what it's going to be like having three children you know and you know wearing multiple hats but anyways i think the god that has granted us this blessing will give us the grace the resources and everything that we need to actually you know raise them up the way that they should go and i also want to use myself guys as a point of contact to anyone for anyone who is um praying for the fruit of the room and i do hope that as you watch this video that you also receive your blessing so yeah this is pretty much it such a long video but that's what happened that's what happened ladies so if you're taking the mini pill it can literally um just switch things around literally so it's yeah it's, it's it's so weird i don't know what i'm gonna be on after i've had this baby but when the time comes we will think about that this is pretty much it guys i'll show you the bump before you go so this is our lovely lovely bump i feel like it's it started poking out so soon but then it's been growing quite steadily so yeah it's been it's been growing quite steadily i don't feel like it's huge 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 but it's all right i'm not i'm not mad for a third pregnancy i'm literally not mad at all um so yeah this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not ready and i'll catch you next time bye